Oh, hello. Hi, I'm John Leonard. Barra pa pum pum, barra pa pum ting. Jeff Cole, um, Columbus, the Pink Flingo, and old friends having two super to get together each year with um, some old friends. All for Matt. See you guys. A few weeks ago, I was approached by Bobby Myro in the form of a letter. And the letter was written in the blood of a bald eagle, so I knew it was serious. And I had the letter it works into my face, neck, hands, uh, and neck again. Uh, the Flabongo. Uh, someone ripped down a tree last year. Um, and, I, and I think probably my most fond memory is the fact that I don't have a lot of memories I'll to pay you back, I guess. What's the name of it? Yep, that's it. Backdoor Sluts 9. Uh, here you go, in no specific order. Uh, one, Pam pooped her pants. Pam, pooping her pants. My favorite memory was the time Pamela Capone pooped your pants. I remember waking up in the morning and having no idea that we had a bunch of tents out in the front lawn and it looked like a fish concert with all Matt's friends just creeping around. There were people sleeping in the closets and the Rubens came up there and put an end to any more MOBs at their house, but that was a good one to end on. When my team and a couple others decided that we would go skinny dipping mid-course in the river for about 20 minutes, just hanging out, swimming during the tournament on the golf course, no questions asked, that's what we were doing. We wanted to go swimming and we did, and it was awesome. And Matt would have loved it. When thinking about the MOB, I think about Miles leading the one-man disco party. I think about Billy Prendergast deciding that shots of Patron and double fist and Bud Lights at the turn of the back nine and being a good idea. Then trying to get air in the golf cart Well, Rubes begs for his life. I think about seeing all the little boys and girls at Lincoln Sudbury turning into such fine and respectable grown-ups. My favorite part of the MOB is all the Mexicans. So my favorite Barboos memory is the Barboos Bowl 2000. That's right, bitches. Dirty bar to the Golden Boys. We beat them all. Best part of the MOB? Gotta be the pimps. Now my least favorite moment is when Bob took a picture of my balls, made it a team logo, put it up on a big projection screen for all to see. Thanks, dick. Shit's been weird over the years, and it seems golf has only been in the background. It started at Rubens, Kyle did some weird shit, and Hammer and Bobby were like, what's up? We brought the roof down, and then shit got weirder at the Big Bear house, where some shit I don't even remember happened. But one thing's for sure, I love me some Leonard and some Hatchie, and everyone loves themselves some Capone. And despite the continual increase of weird shit, I think we can all remember why we're here and give the Bardsies a hug, my favorite memory of all. I went in down to the, um, the kitchen hungover hotel, and I had just walked into the bathroom, looked at myself screaming because I had pancake batter all over me. I wish I had a good story about it, but other than that, I was a victim of pancake batter. Mrs. Bardsley came over with tons of coffee and bagels and nearly saved me. And to Mrs. Bardsley, I had to give her a hug, and she was like, what the hell happened to you? You look like hell. But the point is, looking at, in the room and having all of us together and looking, seeing the look on her face that first time to see everyone together, it just is such a relief and comfort to her, and it's such a relief and comfort and to celebrate and remember that um, I think I look forward to that every year to see Mrs. Bradley and give her a hug. And Each year when we're supposed to get out there and golf, 
we look at the weather report and it says it's gonna rain, it's just gonna be terrible. But every time we actually get out there, something happens and it's, it turns out to be like the most beautiful day of the summer for us. And we end up having a great time and people are out there trashing a the golf course. Um, and I know Matt's behind that. And that makes me think of Matt. Matt was a great friend. He was an awesome athlete. And no one would have had more fun with these MOBs. I think about being around the people who shared in such wonderful memories of our past. Whatever it is for you, keep the dream alive, baby. Boy, I wasn't ready for this. I don't know about this.